Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you what interesting usage you may take of Unity 3D. So in this video I'm going to tell you about part number one and part number two. Part number one will be about this. So this is a movie texture and game object and animation and once uh, one uh, event animation in, in, in animation is done this cube will not receive rigid body and it will uh, uh, lose animator component so you will see it here uh, so I have here screen it's a cube that will be uh, used as screen so this cube fits our uh, window this game window so I will show you this right now so have a look uh, if if I change if I change uh, the size of my window this cube will also react to this change and also and also uh, cube as a child object will also react to change of screen size here so I have here a uh, play movie script which uh, only place this uh, movie texture. It's really simple script. Uh, so I'm going to show you the script right now. So play movie script. Uh, hold the second. Yeah, play movie script. Then feed screen. Oh, I have here a typo. It's not good. Uh, so this one taken from this site, from this uh, web page. And also I have here. A cube with animation, and animation is over here uh, in this cube animator. It's over here. Wait a second. Yeah, so it's about a position of our cube, which is going from uh, from point A to point B, so from down to up. And about this, no rigid body, no no animator script. So once we finish animation. This script will be activated, and this script, this one, will uh, deactivate animator itself and push our rigid, rigid body into the left side with this force applied to it. Okay, that's enough about this part. Now let's go to part number two. And for part number two, uh, we will need to create a green screen room. Uh, so. For some reason, I cannot. Okay, I can do this. Uh, let's create a plane, plane, and this plane will have such material like green screen material. Uh, so this is just a simple material with only green color and such shader, unlit color. Now let's duplicate it like this and rotate minus point. And we have our green screen room made. So here is our floor. Let's uh, change our shader to normal, you know, just for start. You know, so we could see where is the floor, where is the uh, wall. And now let's add the light to the scene. And make it as shadows. I mean, not light, I mean, you know, the light uh, make objects cast shadows and now let's uh, add some cubes to our scene and make them bigger and bigger so we will have one cube that's going to be really big and this cube uh, will be will push it forward okay so I will create a script and mm, push me forward It's not good to use digits, but I will use it anyway. Uh, so, and this script will push our uh, rigid body forward, and you will see uh, why I'm doing this. So, uh, uh, let's just open this script, and it will happen on the start. On the start. Okay, so, uh, so. Get component origin body. Uh, 
for work. For work and force will be like this. Control save. And let's remove this line. Okay, so now we have to save this script. And now let's test it for now. Let's add add our urgent body component. Urgent body component. And place our camera like this. Uh, align this view. And my camera is orographic, I don't like it. Okay, that's good. Now let's make this child object of our plane. I don't like why it's always in 2D mode. I'm in a 2D mode, it's not good. Okay, let's just do this now. Okay, we are almost done. We are almost done. Hell. And uh, now we have to change our shader again to unlit color. And we are ready to make green screen with you. Now let's go to Bandicam. I will use another recorder because my OBS is already a recording video. So the target, rectangle, and let's take this part of screen and I will remove my logo because my logo I don't need my logo right now and now let's record this with you hit play button I need to wait for Bendicam to initialize and now we are ready to record with you Okay, no, 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 no. I need to change this before we start. Uh, do this well for a better effect. Now let's go. Okay. We are ready to make a green screen video for Unity. Uh, so now let's go to our Bandicam folder. Uh, open it. And we have our video over here, recorded just now. And let's import our recorded video into Filmora. Or any green screen uh, using application you can have in your computer. So now I will remove this. And I will take this inside. <coughs> and now I need to remove introduction from this video. Okay. I will cut this out. Okay. From this point. Good. Now I will move it here like this. And I click right mouse button, green screen make parts of this clip transparent okay and now I'm ready to make a green screen video from unity to my application so now let's go to full screen mode and hit play button look okay. let's change it like this like this okay it's now much better Okay, let's just wait. Hope, and it's working pretty good. So that's all. That's how we can use U U Unity for green screen animations for your videos and for your games, for your trailers. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye bye.